Hey, what's going on guys? Robert Walkner here from CoinOp TV with Andre from Black Nerd Comedy. What's we up? want to talk about How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is a non-spoiler review. Yeah. We're going to talk about the story a bit, characters. We're going to tell you if you like them, if we like the movie, how we felt about it, if we think you should see it. Yep. So, starting off, let's talk about the cast. Yeah. Hiccup? Hiccup. Yeah, hic Hiccup. Uh, he he's got a dragon. <laughs> and and uh and Toothless should be able to fly as he pleases. <laughs> As in the first dragon, you got some happy moments, some wacky comedies, some dragons being silly. You know that how to train your dragon, man. They, 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 get, they get that one scene or two scenes in there, and you just gotta make it go get behind those 3D glasses, like, don't cry, man. My tears being projected by my 3D glasses. <laughs> so yeah, there was, there was. So I would, I would say that. Now I was a big fan of How to Train Your Dragon, the first one. Andre and I saw it together. It's one of the best. Um, serious animated films that I can think of like off you know at least in the top three or four that I can think of off the top of my head yeah I mean they, like there are some comedy but it's not a lot of pie in the face stuff there's yeah. it's very serious and I thought two was even more serious like <laughs> there was less jokes I mean it's lighthearted. yeah but so it's, it's kind of like it's hey, not hardcore it's, drama no, but. yeah but yeah I mean it's not but, but I mean there's a romance there's a you know mm -hmm. there's some mother and you know, father issues, and things you know. happening. Is it time to grow up? You know, can you just do what you want? Or do you need to take responsibilities in your life? Like those types of questions. You know. I mean, Hiccup lost his leg in the first movie. Yeah, so, well, yeah. you know, <laughs> with the tone, you know, the tone's been set. It's established. Yeah, stuff, but so. I, I, I agree with that because you know, you see the commercial and it's all like, look at the wacky dragons, and it's just like they're trying to, you know, paint it to that. But you know, in the same, I would put pictures in the same way of like when you first saw the commercials for Frozen, and you're thinking like, oh, crazy wacky snowman. Yeah, that's all this movie is, and then you're like, oh wait. There's other stuff in here. It's the same way. I mean, if you've seen the first one, you know this already. But if you see this, it's it's not it's not your silly kitty. Well, this is, this got some good heart to it. I think that you know the storylines in this is just as good as any live action movie. Right. Give it some love, man. Give it some love. Yeah. Remember that. Give it some love. Well, <laughs> well, with that, uh, are we going to send people to see How to Train Your Dragon? Do they need to see this in 3D? Do they need to rent it? Oh, see in the theaters. I. I if you know me, I'm always about 3D, whatever, don't care. I think, sometimes I think it's a gimmick. And I've always said, except <laughs> for how to train your that dragon. That was a good one. The and the, cr scene, the Croods right? also. The Croods was also good. I thought that looked really good. Yeah, but flying, I, I, it goes without saying that flying, just in general, flying is the best thing in 3D. And that's why how to train your dragon work. And how to train your dragon too, I would say the same thing. It's just like when they are flying around the sky and it's like, Clouds here and the dragon is here and they come up like they're about to drop and so it's, it, it really works. It's dramatic, yeah. It's very, very, very nice. So I, I would say 3D if you can do it. So we'll go. So we we'll encourage people to see this in the movies in, in movies, 3D. In 3D. Um, is is there anything we're missing? Was there something that you didn't like or you were sort of scratching your head about? Um, I don't know, didn't like. I'm, I'm gonna say I would say this is probably more for older kids to adult. I think if you're like super young. Because some of the moments are serious, because there because there are moments where it's just talking and not a lot of like wacky, schmacky, whatever. Yeah. You know, if you're like super young, you might get a little like, when, when's the dragon gonna yeah. fly again? You know, so there might be some of that. But uh, that that would be my my only like negative, I guess. Uh, which is not really a negative. It's just more like if you got a baby, don't bring your baby to the theater. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there is some scary dragons. So yeah. you know, there was a couple we saw with a all ages group, and uh, there was a couple people who I could hear some crying because I think I mean there's some dragons breathe some fire and they're mm -hmm. scary looking yeah, so yeah. you know so maybe maybe leave the you know the real young ones <laughs> behind yeah. um I, I enjoyed it a lot. There was something I was telling Andre off camera that um, the villain and the, sort of the you know the things that are going on, the badness, yeah. I thought was a little bit recycled from the first movie, which it wasn't a bad thing, but I just kind of feel like with the sequel you need to go above and beyond and just bring in like the, the new race, or the new element, the new monster, the, the, next, new, thing. the next thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, we want to, you know, when Godzilla movies, you know, every time he came back again, we got some new two headed monster or, you know, Mecha Godzilla or Hydra or he something, wants, you know. So, mecha, how to train your Mecha Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Robo Dragon. So I want, I want to see if we do a How to Drain Your Dragon 3. Oh, there will be. It's part of a trilogy. Apparently, it's, oh, it's a trilogy. It's a trilogy, yeah. Well, there you go. So, Ro so Robo we need Dragon. To see, we need to see some Robo Dragons or just something crazy, you know, yeah. just go over the top and go nuts so uh it didn't that didn't bother me as much i i thought the movie was fine as it is i don't know if i would say one better than two i think it's it's like i said it feels like an ongoing story 
So I, I just liked it. I, I get what you're saying. I agree what he's saying, <laughs> but I don't think that will take away from the film. That's all I'm going to say about that. No, I still enjoyed the film a lot. <laughs> I just, like, after I digest no, it. No, Rob, you're supposed to like every single thing about a movie, or you're supposed to hate it. You can never have an in-between. You know this. This is the internet. This is true. You love it or you this, hate it. This is common. He's speaking in common <laughs> phrase right there. <laughs> all right, Andre, we got to wrap up this review of How to Train Your Dragon 2. We're going to tell people to see it. Yes. In the theaters in 3D. Absolutely. If you're afraid of heights, be warned. <laughs> this is a lot of, like, it's almost like being on a roller coaster in the movie there, definitely. A little bit. Both, both, both physically and emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whirlwind of emotions yes. and yes. physical, visual stuff there. So, so we got to pose a question. we got to throw something out there for the comments. Get you guys interacting, chatting with us, yeah. Andre and Rob. So what, what are we going to say this time around? All right. We're going to, let's make up a new movie. How to train your blank. Fill in the blank. <laughs> Fill in the blank, and then uh, we'll make that movie happen on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I say, I'm going to, you know, for your Skylanders fan and Portamasters, I say that Activision and DreamWorks should become buddies, make Toothless a Skylander. What? What? He, he is a dragon. What? Yes, yes, fire element. It could be a fire element. <laughs> or or, ma or yeah. magic. Yeah, well, yeah. Is Toothless, is, is he magic? Because he kind of, he doesn't really shoot fire out. It's kind of like a bolt. It's like a, yeah, like a blue, blue, yeah, yeah. So he might be magic then. He might be magic, you know. If spyro there's there's another question. <laughs> what If you're a portal master and you know what this means, so Skyliner fans, yeah. <laughs> what element should Toothless be? Yes, that's a good one. I like that. I like that. Double questions. Yeah, One questions. for each of us. <laughs> well, Andre's question mine. All right, speaking of that, make sure you check out Andre's channel. It's youtube.com slash blacknerdcomedy. That's right. If you've just found this video randomly, you don't know what CoinFTB is, hit that subscribe button for youtube.com slash CoinFTB. We'll see you, Portal Masters, and the rest of you guys next time. Yeah, take care, everyone, and uh, we're going to go fly away. <laughs> <laughs>